Hey guys, how's it going? It's Daryl here, back with another comparison video. Uh, this week's video should be pretty good. It's a little bit of a contentious issue, um, but I think it'll make for a good comparison. Uh, what we're going to do today is compare a one-piece maple neck versus a neck with a rosewood fingerboard. Now we've been told time and time again from artists, from retailers, from manufacturers, and from other musicians that it makes a big difference in your tone. Rosewood is supposed to be nice and warm and your notes kind of bloom off the, the fingerboard and it's a nice spacious kind of sound and maple is really punchy, lots of note definition and clarity. Um, but is it true? So today we're going to take a, a look at that and do a comparison. Okay, so in an effort to eliminate as many variables as possible, what we're going to do is use one guitar for the comparison. So let's take a look at it. Okay, so here it is. You may have noticed it's missing one essential piece. Uh, yeah, so like I said earlier, in, in an effort to eliminate as many variables as possible, we're going to use the same body. Now that, is, that assures that we have the same switches, the same pots, the same capacitors, the same bridge, the same pickups, the same wood. Everything is going to be the same except for the necks. All right, let's take a look at the necks. Okay, so here's the first neck we're going to be comparing. This is a one-piece maple neck. Uh, made by Fender and made in Mexico. Let's take a look at the second neck. Okay, so here's the second neck we're gonna be comparing. Obviously this one has the rosewood fingerboard and again, it is made by Fender and made in Mexico. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing in terms of format today is we're gonna play a little bit of a mellow riff in the neck position, sort of bluesy thing, and then uh, some finger style in the middle position and a country lick in the bridge position. And after each section, um, we're gonna do a little bit of a blind test. And after the blind test, I'm gonna throw a poll up above me. You'll see the little card pop up. Uh, you can click on that and vote for the blind test, which one you think is maple, which one you think is rosewood, or if you can't tell the difference. Okay, so it should be a lot of fun. Uh, but without any further ado, let's do the playing comparison.
All right, so there you guys go. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know in the comments below which one you preferred. Uh, I think there is a subtle difference. I think, uh, to my ear anyway, the rosewood sounded a little tighter in the low end on those, those the sixth string and fifth string, and then maybe a little slightly nasally throughout the other frequencies. And the maple was maybe a little bit more even throughout the, uh, all six strings. Um, but again, I don't think it's big enough to uh, even impact your purchase of an instrument. If you like the way rosewood looks, just buy an instrument with rosewood. Uh, how it plays is more important and whether you like the looks of it. Um, the sound differences, you know, 90% are going to be your pickups and the other 10% are going to be your fingerboard and maybe uh, some other uh, factors. But um, I guess I should reveal the blind test as well before we say goodbye. Um, all of the Guitar 1 parts were the Rosewood fingerboard and all of the Guitar 2 parts were the Maple. So hopefully you got some of them right. Uh, if not, no worries. It, the differences are extremely subtle. So. Uh, anyway, thanks so much for watching you guys. Uh, please do subscribe and like the video. It helps me out a bunch and I will be back with some more guitar related stuff soon. All right, take care.